Good morning, good morning, good morning. So today I'm gonna, we're gonna, we, the royal we, are going to rattle can these wheels. I'm gonna give them a, a light coat of primer that I have, cause this is what, I, cause I got it already. And I got some silver duplicolor wheel paint that'll look really good and even clear coat. And then we're gonna slap the frickin' hubcaps back on and I'm gonna get these tires taken off and some new ones mounted up. What's up? Car's looking good. Let's take a look at it for this morning. Ah, let me not step on interior parts. I was gonna use the GoPro, but I didn't charge it. In fact, I left it in the car all night, unlocked, out here, you know. So this is what we got going on today. I gotta mount up the Jetronic. Got a little, the, both the mounts up there. Just gotta make some new holes. Um, it's funny how that looks like that in this this video, but like it does not look like that when I was here. Anyways, that one it's probably gonna get one more little light coat because I gotta brush it and then just the just the uh, the cloth. And yeah, let's back this up. This just looks really bad there. Yeah, the dash is getting back together. The car is going back together. I do have to wire up the tack. I need to order a windshield. Um, I'm probably just going to go with the local place because, man, like, I kind of wanted one of those green ones from VP, but, you know, that's not that big a deal. I don't think, in fact, I think probably people might not even like that. Anyways. I don't really care that much other than the fact I just want it to be a stock car so that anybody could want it, you know, mostly, mostly OEM, you know, I think the seats came out fantastic. I'm doing the other one over there and did a little bit of more cleaning back here. I've got these panels repainted. I'm going to, I'm going to put the coat of this paint on these carpet things and then I ordered some new carpet for the wood board back here I also need a hinge I need one of these someone's got one I got the panel that I have to get the pegboard for and and uh, the, the the material was fine I'm just gonna re or not pegboard but uh what do they call it uh Anyways, you know what I'm talking about. Stuff to make door panels with. They got it at Home Depot, believe it or not. Still figuring out the taillights, whoever I'm going to buy those from. But yeah, the Virgo's coming off. I need to get it. Order a turn signal still. Power steering rack will be here today. And hopefully I can get that all hooked up. And then I can pop the, this timing belt on that's on here, which is, it's a good timing belt, but I don't want to sell this car to somebody with a timing belt that's not brand new and tensioner that's not new. Or the or I have one that I used for like 50 miles I'm going to put on there. Um, yeah, and then I need to do a couple, I need to tighten this up, put some sealant there. Tight some tidying underneath here still. Um, <laughs> gotta order an exhaust from FCP, they've got the best deal. I uh, do have to bleed the brakes again because the front caliper didn't want to bleed all the way. This one did not want to completely bleed, so I gotta do that again. This is dirty too, that's why it's just gross. There's still some dirt in here, it's mostly clean, yeah. Anyways. So that's the update on the 1978, but yet has a 1979 interior wagon. So it's going to be for sale soon. I'm going to drive it around for like a you know good month unless someone just snatches it up immediately. But uh, I want to drive it around, shake it down really well. Yeah, I got new mirrors too that are not delaminated. I got new, I got some, I also have the mud flaps to go on. I've got front ones coming from Sweden, the new old stock. I got new old stock from the back coming from Sweden too. 
I'm gonna order some of these from Dave Barton to redo those. And then I gotta get those clips that are coming too from the from the side molding that I have too. And it's going together. I have another rubber thing I'm gonna take for my old my my car to fix that front bumper. I'm gonna polish those with the buffer. Yeah, the only issue that this car I feel like that I'm not totally addressing on this is the hood. Like it closes, but it closes fine. It just is slightly bent. And I don't know how that, I'm sure there might be a way. Oh, I think there was some a way to fix that. I just have to mess with it a little bit, but it's gonna come with this, comes with the, some cool parts. And if somebody really wants it, I can install a GT gauge instead. Um, it's gonna have the little penny pack. It has, a, I have a grab handle for the, the passenger side that I can install too. So it's gonna be a cool car. And if someone really, want, really, really wanted it, I can go ahead and just turbo it for you. But I think that it'd be a good solid driver and it'd be cool to deliver it wherever the buyer might be. I'll just drive it there and then I can fly home. <laughs> Seriously though, actually thought about doing that just cause I need to take a nice road trip and I want to do it in a Volvo. So, all right, we'll talk to you later.